So we're back in the fish room after a week away. Just gonna do a little check on everyone, see how everyone's going. I did come in here early hours of this morning and have a little look around. Seems pretty good, so hopefully we don't get any weird surprises. We must see what he's doing in there. See that or not? Oh no, it's just very nice. Put all the babies out. I did pull some before I left, but just had so many water changes and filters to clean and stuff like that. that just kind of baby zips. Super. Uh, yeah, there's just so much random stuff to do. These two little buggers. Yeah, everything seemed to go uh, pretty well. All the way. But apart from the ones that I thought I was going to pull when I got back. Yeah, I didn't, they, they, uh, they all escaped. There's one there as well, I assume. There's a female, which is nice. And then there's the big bad boy. He's always not on eggs at the moment, but you see all them little babies just everywhere. <laughs> So many. I'll strip this tank out tomorrow. Might, might even do another video on that, but I will post whatever I do today. It's a little 471 there. Just caught him the other night. Didn't have a box in the other tank. Just switched him over. Yeah. Nice, nice surprise from the 400s. I'm not too sure if you can see any of that, but she's got massive clutch in there. With her. And they still got big sacks on there. What's he got in there? I don't know what the hell he's got in there, but it's definitely not obvious. Turn these lights on. They're lovely young quarries, but um, we made a mistake dedicating a tank to them. Since I've sorted out all my water changes later, I'll um, Take all the babies and sort through all the tanks. See, that is a beautiful, that is a gold. L333 Albino. That's a gold L333 Albino. That's a gold. We don't, I've got another little collection of the whites in with the 471s and frogs, but the gold too. What I like the most. Yeah, I'm gonna sort through all of these. Big baby. Oh, video in it. 
terrible, I'm sorry. Make sure I give them loads of room around the back. Some people pile caves right up in corners, and if you play caves behind those, and it can't reverse out its toast. Yeah, this is, um... I love this grout thing because it's just full of loads of random. Fish, all pretty good quality ones. Siphon out all of the worst quality in the last ones are shops really first. Some of the old triple three albinos. Selling 15 of these next week. Green Dragon. Little baby long fin. It's like what I used to do that, Corey. See if I can do it with one hand if he flips into the net or flips out of the Well, he did actually go in there but I dropped my phone in the process and caught him in my hand before he nearly went into the mid fire bucket. That would not have been good. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was in there. That was sure in there. It hasn't moved from there. Yeah, that was um, that was close. <laughs> Turn these lights on so we can see in there. Need to take the markings off the tanks. I don't know why the flash was on then. Markings off the tanks and get rid of all of them snowball shrimp. And then Corey's in there. I'm gonna have, probably gonna dedicate that to my Ivan Akaras in the front room. And then I'll probably breed these Nana Akaras. And I'll breed my Ivan Akaras, dedicate two of these 45s to each one. So I'll just use four of them. And that's the female here. She's just having a little bit of a rest at the moment. For some reason they spawned. Uh, he ate the eggs and then started attacking her. So maybe give him a time out, leave her in there for three or four weeks or something just to chill out. This tank needs a good clean to be sorted through. Tried to get rid of all of them shrimp in there and thought I had literally all of them and there's still that amount in there. Stupid ready. Backworm culture. Going nicely, it doesn't look that much, but there's things a lot in there. But in the meantime, I'm gonna pull some of these fryer that are in some of these caves and see how many I can get out. I don't like to stress them out too much, doing it 20 times trying to shake the fry out if they don't come out after the fifth or sixth shake turn that I do, I'll just leave them. Love them little zebras. And the peppermint male and female are getting on well, the new ones that I've got. He's stunning, massive, big, powerful male. It's just obviously the stir boys in there. I'm probably going to get rid of all of my um, 
corridors. I've got left in the fish room apart from the Robina. Um, yeah, and mainly just keep my Shaddies, the Pistos. I'll keep my Rams. I might try and find a decent male to pair up with her. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to get rid of all of the quarries to be fair in the fish room. So if you're local to Brighton or you want any quarries, give me a message. I'll do them good price. I'm not going to be able to get that one. Right, I'm going to get to put in some of these fry in order to get back to you. See you in a minute. That's the uh, Albino Triple Free Babies. Seven in there that I managed to get out. I didn't really want to keep the stuff. They actually got out the cave. They were the ones that I got from the cave. The rest of them are in between all of them. I don't really fancy tearing that whole tank apart just to get the last few babies. I will catch them eventually when they're out and about. See just the L four seven ones that I pulled the other day. The old triple freeze aren't as brave, they're just still hiding in there. I left this guy with his babies for super whites, two and super whites out and about. And then, yeah, in that one, I just. <coughs> I don't know if you really see a mini there. I think there's nine. I managed to get out of the cage. It looked like there was another five left in there, but I will get them out in the morning. More four, seven ones. Well, I should keep the uh, tanks always at zero to almost nothing as nitrates to be honest if you I find any nitrates is detrimental to any 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 young fish whether it's a pleco a, a corridor a ram any fish it will stunt their growth no matter what people say or it's a lovely old three four there See there, four seven one baby. There's a few under there as well, if you can just make out there. And there's another uh, triple three. L triple three, L one thirty four. Another L one thirty four there. See if he has got any more babies in there left. Oh, yep, yeah, yeah, there's loads in there still. <laughs> Done a terrible job of getting them ones out. Yeah. They're lovely, I need them to start giving me some more. Yeah, that's 
past that. Let's see how Corey trying to get the food kind of in. Corey, get that out. Annoy me. I don't know why I lost interest in Corey's completely. Bitten by mosquitoes. They absolutely love the fish room if they can get in. They will. Right, I'm going to leave it there folks, thanks for watching, always appreciate it, if you would like and subscribe that would be even more appreciated, but if not, hope you enjoyed the video, see ya.